Hey everyone, welcome to my second tutorial of the day, and this tutorial is going to be how to use an SNES emulator. Earlier I did one for the NES, but today, right now I'm just going to do one for the Super Nintendo because of the great reception of the one for the Nintendo. I've had, in the call I've got Charlie and Mark, but Mark's not actually here now, he's just away to do something. Yeah, the first thing you're going to want to do before you do this tutorial though is to get WinRAR Archiver and this can be really important for most of the tutorials that I do because a lot of them are going to be to do with uh, opening archives which you need WinRAR for. So for, you're going to want to open your control panel and go to system or system maintenance, depends what version of Windows you have. And it's going to show what version of operating system you have and if you have 32 or 64, whatever bit system type you have. So then you got to check there. So you're going to want to close your system thing now, once you've figured out what bit of operating system you have. Then you're going to want to find your language. Oh, I just got a message on Steam, sorry about that. You're going to go to English 32-bit, if you're me. I've already downloaded it before, so it says 1. I'm going to pause till it's finished downloading. Alright, now it's finished uh, downloading, so you're going to want to open the WinRAR file. Then you just want to press Run. <coughs> Oh, hey Mark. Hey. Alright, so I'm just doing the WinRAR part, then you're going to press install. <laughs> I'm installing WinRAR again, I think this is the fourth time I've installed WinRAR. Yep, yeah, because you WinRAR did it another time when it Yeah, time. so you want to have all these settings, don't have the jar one clicked, or you can have it on your desktop if you want, but I just like having it inside my computer. So you're going to press OK, if you have all those options, and then it will start getting all the files into your computer. And then once that's done, it will say, yeah, th thank you for using WinRAR, you press done. And then it will open the folder for WinRAR somewhere. You should, just come WinRAR up on, should just come up on the screen. Yeah, I did, I'm just finishing the WinRAR thing. Then I'm going to go on to how to use the SNES simulator. So, then, you know, you've got that folder, it doesn't really matter. So you, just, you can just close that now. And then you want to go to coolrom.com. Yay. So once you're on Cool ROM, you're going to want to go to the emulators bar at the top, go down to Super Nintendo, and then click on Super Nintendo. So emulators and SNES. I, s I recommend ZSNES, and that's what I'm going to use for this video. So you just want to click on that. Make sure you have ZSNES. And then you're going to go down and go to Download Now. You click on Download Now, and it will start your download. So you just got to do the sponsor message thing. And while that one is downloading, I'm going to go to ROM files, which is the other column at the top that's important. And it's going to be important for basically all the emulators that you're using. I might do another one of these tutorials for the uh, Sega the Sega Genesis. So I can do like Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3 as well as Mortal Kombat stuff. But yeah, for the purpose of this video we're going to be doing Super Mario All-Stars. So you just want to click on that. You have the, and the other thing coming up on the screen. So you just want to go scroll down until you see the download now button, like we saw before. Just wait for that to all load up. Then you got the download now button there. So you're you're gonna to want to click download now, and then that will start downloading. So now, ZSNES is gonna start downloading now as well as I think Super Mario All-Stars. I don't know if they're both downloading at the same time. or So I'm just going to pause the video and wait till those two are downloaded. So now what you're going to want to do, I've, they've both finished downloading, so you're going to want to open the Super Mario All-Stars zip file. That's what you use WinRAR for, which I showed you how to do earlier in the video. So just wait for that to open. Then you'll have the Super Mario All-Stars dot SMC and you can just, for now, you can just leave that there and minimize. Just you know that .smc file is there. And then you're going to want to uh, drag the ZSNES151 straight onto your desktop, the zip file. So yeah, once that's on your desktop, you can just close the your download is starting window thing. And then you want to open the ZSNESW151.zip. Uh, archive. So just wait for that to open. Then you're going to want to go to. There's a folder inside the .zip file called docs. You 
going to double open, double click that to open. And then you're going to also open up your Super Mario All Stars .zip archive. And then you're going to drag the Super Mario All Stars SMC file into the uh, docs folder of the uh, ZSNES151 archive. So you just want to drag and drop. And then it should start dragging them over to each other. So yeah, so now the Super Mario All-Stars SMC is inside the docs folder of ZSNES. Then you want to go back, which is the gold arrow on the left left side of the screen. And then you're going to want to open ZSNES.exe. Did you do it? it was wrong for me? And once you've opened that, it's going to have your blue rainy screen thing. Oh, you just want to, going to yeah. want to press space bar. And then you want to click load. Then on the right side you see your directory, you're going to want to open the docs folder. And then on the file name part of your screen it will say Super Mario All Stars dot S, but it's actually dot SMC. You want to double click that and then it will start. The game will begin. You just want to press enter, or whatever, yeah. And then your, your game's going to be working perfectly fine, and because it's Super Nintendo it's not going to lag really at all. So yeah. You can change all your config on the config part where you go to input, you can change your sounds, your video, your options, anything. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, remember to rate, leave a comment, saying that you enjoyed it. And see you guys in the next video, possibly a tutorial, I don't know.